Lately, there's been a lot of talk about how current graphics card prices are actually starting to fall below MSRP, which is insane because we've literally spent almost two years with the worst graphics card prices we have ever seen. And so this is definitely a wonderful thing. It really is. However, with all of that being said, many tech YouTubers right now are telling all of their audiences to not upgrade at all and that they should wait, which made me wonder if I should be telling my audience the same thing. But then I realized upgrading now because the graphics card prices are cheap or waiting because new graphics cards are on the way isn't really the question. The actual question is when should you upgrade your PC? And I mean in general, for a general best practice, when should you upgrade your PC? You have some people who hold on to their hardware for way too long and now they can't run any new games at all whatsoever because they don't meet the minimum system specifications. And then on the other hand, you have people who rush out and buy the latest and greatest thing every single time something comes out. I wanna help you figure out when you should upgrade and how how you should handle the current graphics card situation. Okay, I'm just gonna rip off the band-aid and get right into it. When should you actually upgrade your PC? Well, the answer is honestly very simple. Upgrade your PC whenever it no longer does what you originally built it to do. An example is, let's say you built it to edit videos, and initially you were only editing videos at 1080p and everything was fine, but now you've upgraded to 4K and now your PC cannot handle the 4K footage. You're lagging, you're stuttering, you're dropping frames, all that different kind of stuff. Now that would be a clear indication that you need to upgrade your PC. And of course, on the gaming side of things, maybe when you built your PC, you could play any game you wanted at max settings and still get over 100 FPS. But some time has gone by and games are more demanding now. And now you're struggling to hit even 60 FPS at low to medium settings. That would be a really good indicator that you might need to upgrade your PC. That's what I'm saying here. Just look at your situation and ask, can I still do what I originally wanted to do with the PC? And if the answer is yes, then you don't really need to upgrade, you only want to upgrade. Have a good solid reason for upgrading your PC. Don't just upgrade your PC just because or because there's a newer, better version of a graphics card or a CPU or something like that. But now let's assume you are in the market to upgrade your PC and more specifically, you want a new graphics card. How should you go about doing that? On one hand, Graphics cards are officially cheaper than they've been in the past two years. But on the other hand, you have every major YouTuber telling you not to buy a graphics card right now because new cards are supposedly right around the corner and the current cards will likely get cheaper before they get here. And there is a lot of truth in this, but there's also some faulty assumptions, so let's talk about it. The first faulty assumption is that the new cards are right around the corner. We don't actually know that. It makes sense and I agree that based on historical data, it would seem like we would get new cards around this fall sometime. That totally makes sense, but we also also just heard that the new cards would come out in July and everybody was very adamant about that and now magically the cards are not coming in July. So my point is, yes, eventually we are going to get new cards, obviously, but it may or may not be sometime this fall. That's all I'm saying. Don't necessarily bank on it being a guarantee, but okay, let's assume for a minute that yes, we have brand new cards right around the corner. What does that mean? A lot of people assume this means that the current graphics card pricing will only continue to get cheaper because there will be newer cards, better cards that everybody will want. But let's take a walk back down memory lane because I wanna remind you of the RTX 3080 and the RTX 3070. You see, the RTX 3070 was revealed to the world and everybody quickly understood that the 3070 was basically a $500 2080 Ti. So now you have all of these 2080 Ti owners taking their $1,200 GPUs and selling them on eBay for five and $600. And then they all realized it didn't really make sense to sell their 2080 Ti's for a 3070. So they decided, let's all go get a 3080. And then the 3080 launch day came around. And what happened? Everybody and their mom was trying to get their hands on a 3080. And the 3080s sold out immediately. And I mean, absolutely immediately. And they quickly became a scalper's paradise. All these cards immediately started shooting up online for four, five, six hundred dollars over MSRP. And it only continued to get worse 
for the next two years. We are only just now seeing graphics card prices come back down to MSRP. And so what exactly is my point with all of this? Well, if you wait long enough, you might, the keyword is might, get lucky and fall into that brief window where you have the new card announcement, people freak out and sell their cards on eBay for insanely low prices, like a $1,200 2080 Ti selling for $500 on eBay. Like you might get that type of luck if you wait long enough. But after that, the current card pricing will only go up from there. If you don't believe me, go listen to Jay's Two Cents. He's made multiple videos about graphics card launches and what to expect and all graphics card launches basically have the same behavior graphics cards come out they sell out day one and they stay sold out for weeks or months at a time and this is true even before the 30 series launch and even before the silicon shortage and even before the worldwide pandemic and so what that means is that once the new cards are gone everyone will then panic buy all the old inventory on the market all of the graphics cards you see right now for ms MSRP or even below MSRP, they will quickly skyrocket above MSRP because the demand will now be higher because there are no new graphics cards. Right now is a really good time to buy. If you need an upgrade, if you want an upgrade, and if you know that you're going from something like a 1070 to a 3080, I promise you, you don't need a 4080 in that situation. A 3080, a 3090, a 3070, a 3060 would be a really good upgrade for somebody in that category, okay? You don't need to wait for something that isn't really gonna benefit you that much more. Go ahead and take advantage of the awesome, awesome graphics card prices right now. But okay, let's say everything works out. Let's say I'm wrong. New cards come out this fall, they are abundantly available, and anybody and everybody who wants to get one can. What should you do right now? Well, in all honesty, there is nothing wrong with the current technology on the market. I know what a lot of people are saying because I used to think this way as well. Oh wow, the 3080 is by far the most coveted graphics card of the last two years. Yeah, but September officially makes it two years old. And technology, that's, that's pretty old. Yeah, true, but it's still a good card. Yeah, but the 4080 is coming. Just because a new product comes out, that doesn't magically make your current product completely outdated and completely useless. I mean, at this point, they release a new iPhone every single year. So if you have the iPhone 13 Pro Max right now and in October of this year, whenever they release the iPhone 14 Pro Max, does that mean your phone is now magically completely useless and pointless and completely outdated? No, of course not. You can continue to use your current phone for many more years. And it's the exact same thing with current hardware if you're on later hardware like the 20 series and 30 series cards. But I will admit if you're on anything older than the 20 series cards, then then yeah, you're probably in the market for an upgrade. And like I said before, in my last point, you don't have to go to the 4,000 series cards in order to get that upgrade. And by the way, I'm talking a lot about NVIDIA and it's mostly just because I, I use NVIDIA and I know most of my audience has NVIDIA based on polls that I've taken, but everything that I'm saying completely applies to AMD as well. And by the way, AMD is a great company with great CPUs and yes, even great GPUs. And honestly, I think a lot of people are kind of sleeping on AMD graphics cards. And so if you have a good opportunity to buy a high-end AMD graphics car like the 6800 XT or the 6900 XT and you can get it for an incredibly low price like MSRP or lower, jump on it. Just just because it's not Nvidia, that doesn't mean you have to ignore it. So just, just a little food for thought. I'm just a random guy on YouTube giving you my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I want to know your opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below why you think I'm wrong or maybe why you agree with me. And, and if you got any questions, let's, let's talk it out, okay? But I appreciate you watching. If you watch this far, then obviously this video interested you. So do me a favor, hit the like button. It goes a long way in helping me out and I would really appreciate it. But that's all I've got. I've been recording for three hours. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go. So you have a good one. And until next time, E-Rock out.